Last one laughing is what you need right now, trust me. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Damlola and I am back here with another episode on Last One Laughing. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button, turn on post notification and tell me something great at the comment section. Basket Mouse sent Senito inside the house to go and crack the housemaid out. At the end of the day, somebody did laugh. But it wasn't because of Senito's jokes. Um, apparently, there was one toy Kiki was playing with and the toy was literally um, causing a lot, a lot of noise. And okay, Bakasi was trying to collect the toy from Kiki and then that was when he laughed. So immediately, Basket Mouse pressed the red buzzer and he came inside and he said, Look at the screen. Somebody did laugh, and it turns out to be okay. Bakasi, okay, Bakasi was shocked, he was surprised, but then he had to leave. So that was the end of the road for okay, Bakasi. So Senator had to go back to where he came from because I mean, he's addicted from the show. While all the comedians were busy trying to crack jokes, trying to make themselves laugh, um, Gandoki like took up the stage, he was trying to crack jokes, trying to make somebody laugh, trying to make one, one or two persons laugh. Then there was an entrance. Akin and Popo made a very beautiful, I must say very beautiful and hilarious entrance. They came in wearing this mommy a shower holding this dress. Their funny makeup, actually the makeup was extremely funny. And guys, these two people are legends. If you watch Akin and Popo, if you watch Akin and Popo very well, you watch their movies back then, you will know that these people then, they will make you laugh. They will definitely make you laugh, guys. So when they came inside, Taoma during her confessional, she was like, why does it have to be Akina Popo? Even that worried girl, they, they were all surprised. They were like, why does it have to be these people, you know? So they came up with the idea that they want to come and measure, you know, measure them for clothes they want to, you know, give to them. So they are tailors and they are just there to come and measure them. And the funny thing is that they have to measure everybody. So nobody wants to look at them. Nobody wants to face them. Nobody wants to get close to them. Taoma... Thelma was literally almost crying, like she was literally like, why does it have to be Akin and Papa? Why Akin and Papa of all people? You know, she even said that she has never seen them before, she has never met them before, this is her first time seeing them in person. She always watched them on TV, like, these guys are legends, they are not play play, they are not, this is not Sabine, this is Akin and Papa, she didn't want me, me. Anyways, uh, at a point in time, they called a cappella. Capella was like, why does it have to be me? They sent you to me. Kilo de Gono. And a cappella came and they measured a cappella, but he didn't laugh at the end of the day. Um, I go save was there. I go save was being measured and he was like, you will fact though. I go save has just been messing, messing up and down, polluting the air up and down. Like that guy is, is a, is a very funny person. So Tauma, Tauma was like, you don't have to measure me, don't worry. You and I, we are not really that far from each other. Our height is not really that far from each other. I just have 10 to what she already has, so don't measure me at all. Like, Tauma doesn't want to get close to them because she knows that once she does that, like, once she does that, oh my God, she's definitely going to laugh. So she was trying to really avoid them. Kiki, on the other hand, was literally trying to avoid them, actually. Like, she was literally trying to avoid them. During that confessional, she was like, she needs to avoid these people because if not, she's going to end up laughing. So when they came to her and they said they needed a chair to sit down to, you know, try to measure some tall people, and she has to like help them, like, you know, cause the man that you help people now. So she has to like help them out with the chair. So while she was trying to help them with the chair, trying to, you know, carry Papa up on the stool, that was when Papa just looked at them. Papa was like, fine girl, how are you? The next thing, Kiki just smiled. Like, you don't want to look at these people because they are going to crack you up. And immediately, Basket Mouth pressed the red buzzer. And Basket Mouth does not have joy. He came inside and he said, Look at the screen. Look, you guys don't listen. Look at the screen. And it turns out to be Kiki. Kiki was saying that she didn't expect it to be her because she didn't even know that she smiled. She didn't even know. Like, she did not know that she smiled at Papa. So she actually got evicted from the show. And that was the end of the road for Kiki. Did I see Kiki's own coming? Honestly, I did not because, I mean, from the beginning of the show, she's one person that has sustained herself in that show for a long period of time. She has been able to, you know, hide her smile because, I mean, there's no way you will not laugh. She has been able to hide her smile, you know, ensure that she doesn't laugh 
for a long period of time but you know you can't do it with acne but for you just have to laugh i was even expecting that Uma to laugh because Uma was the one that was crying like these people when they have to come she was literally the one almost crying like in tears but then she did not go home she didn't laugh so he had to leave the house so basket mouth told them that they are going to do a career day comedy so they literally had to come one after the other to come on stage and come and you know crack jokes just to make themselves laugh so the first person that went to a stage was gandoki gandoki is a legend gandoki is a respectable person gandoki is a very talented comedian in the nigerian comedy industry you know he came on stage and he did fantastically well he was trying so hard to you know crack the other comedians up he was trying to talk about um um conductors in lagos how they will be shouting uh oh 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 and you know they they don't even want to know if you're really going to Osho or you're going to Ojo Legba. they will just want to push you inside the bus so you that you don't even know roads you follow them and enter you follow them and enter the bus so by the time you get to a particular you know place or a particular location you will not ask them to join Ipola Ipola where is this place you know you want to know where they are and they will just tell you they pass a particular place and you will not realize that you are literally in the wrong bus so she, we was trying to explain that part of the you know how lagos conductors can be very very funny he was dressed in the conductor way it was actually really funny because he was trying to crack 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 the joke like in a very funny way i mean i'm not a comedian so i might not be able to get it the exact way but it was actually very very funny his dress says everything oh my god Tauma said that Tauma during her confessional she said that this show has actually taught her how to hide her laugh that now if she wants to laugh she'll just laugh from inside her tummy so she will hide it nobody will know that she's laughing she's laughing like this they will not know so the the, the camera kept on showing Tauma's face because it was as if she wants to laugh but she was hiding it uh, it was as if she wants to also cry at the same time so she i think i think she did a very fantastic job hiding her laugh because i mean you can't crack joke in front of me like that for a long period of time and i'm not gonna laugh like she the wine in it she the wine in it but i was thinking about it i'm like okay if if i'm gonna be giving 40 million naira not to laugh maybe i'll just probably think of something that'll make me cry since i can't laugh i mean i can cry right anyways so moving forward um while um Gadoki was done cracking jokes because he tried everything possible to crack jokes during their confessionals they were all saying that this guy did very well he did he did fantastically well his comedy was so great you know um i go save on the other hand was just basically remembering those days back then in his life when he was hustling and bustling and in lagos you know the old story the old jokes just brought back memories but they still did not laugh you know so they all commended uh, mr gandoki for doing a fantastic job but nobody nobody laughed so it was now turn for that comedian to come and do a career day and it happens to be i go save i go save is one person that i must say that that guy that guy is funny apart from Messi, that guy is very talented he can do every character he can give you every character in a very very funny way he came to the stage as a lawyer and babalawo i don't know how you want to mix being a lawyer and herbalist at the same time so he said that why he decided to come up with that idea is because he feels that if you cannot win a, a case as a lawyer then you can do it the other way you can just try to use the, the open design you know just try to use that style and you'll be able to win the case so that was why he decided to come up with that idea so, then he was not holding plantain he said this plantain is um, out of assembly um this yam is a uh, one boy like that that he turns to yam it was actually very very funny at the point in time thelma was like the lord said then he lay in me <laughs> He showed one particular thing like that that was looking so round. She said, This is somebody's broadcast. So it was just literally very, very funny, I must say. While he was talking, they were literally responding to him back, saying that um, um, Kandoki stood up to say that, Please, um, excuse me, sir, I want you to turn my local government chairman to Kasava. Is that possible? They were just literally asking him questions, trying to, you know, get back at him so that they don't, they don't, they don't want to just try to engage him so that they don't, they don't laugh. That's the idea. They don't, they, they don't laugh. It doesn't get to them at all. And I must say that they really succeed because, I mean, it's not easy. It's not easy not to laugh. Like, you cannot afford to laugh. Oh, my God. And it's, it's been five hours in the show and they're supposed to stay in the house for six good hours. And um, they have just one hour left. And there are just five people left in the show. I go say a cappella. That's worry girl. Tauma and um gandoki so i want to say congratulations to them that made it to the top five you know and basket mouth press 
a, a buzzer and it came back inside i was not thinking it was going to you know give somebody red card or yellow card but apparently nobody laughed so he said that um they've been in the house for five hours if they cannot make anybody laugh if any of them cannot make anybody laugh in that show it will start evicting them out of the house so that was where they end this particular episode so i hope you guys are enjoying last one laughing and enjoy with dami that is all i have for you guys when i'm in more to come don't forget to subscribe to my channel like my videos and on post notification and tell me something great at the comment section i love you guys see ya bye